Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So we all know that this world is full of battery powered products. Now we've got battery powered cars, we've got battery powered lawnmowers, we've got battery powered drones. Now there is one place where battery powered products haven't taken over and that is until now. So let me show you the coolest product that I've actually had the chance to review and test. It's right here. This is the Boost Surfing Battery Powered Motorized Surfing. Now this thing is awesome. It can make your surfboard, your stand up paddle board, your longboard motorized, make it more fun, easier to do, more accessible. This thing is awesome and we're gonna check it out today. So give me a minute to kind of tell the full story of how this Boost Surfing Fin came to be. Now it all started about two and a half years ago before COVID. It was a Kickstarter campaign. I supported the campaign. It was like $200 for this fin. I thought, there's no way that this is ever gonna happen. It sounds too good to be true. And then guess what happened? COVID happened, it was delayed, there were supply issues, there was manufacturing issues, so I never thought I'd see this fin. Blah, 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 blah. You get the point. The good news though is the fin is here. It actually seems to work really well. So if this is their first shot at making one of these fins, they're definitely off to a good start and I can see these working for a lot of people. So before I show you this fin up close, let's talk about some of the specifications. Now the first thing is this whole fin is waterproof. Now within this fin they have the controller, they have the batteries, they have the motor. There's no other wires or connections you need. All you need to do is attach this to your surfboard. Now to do that you actually have to use what they have some of, some of these adapters or connectors they sell. Here's one right here. Now this is definitely probably the most challenging part of the boost surfing is figuring out what sort of adapter you need for your surfboard. So you're going to have to go to your surfboard, check out what the fin box looks like and figure out what kind of adapter you need. They sell about 10 adapters for this boost fin. Now the next thing about this fin that's really cool is it actually has a Bluetooth transmitter in it so you can connect this to your phone and adjust the way the fin behaves. So to control and operate the fin, Boost has included this like watchy kind of controller. It's really easy to use. There's basically two buttons. There's a turbo or a boost button and there's a regular operation button. Now you can control what those buttons do and how they work in the app. It's really simple. I'll show you that later, but check that out. It's really slick, really clever design. If you're like me, you're like, please tell me how powerful this fin is. I need to know because I've got all these ideas for this fin. So let me do my best to handle that for you. First off, the fin is rated at about 20 pounds of thrust. It can max out at about 10 miles per hour. I didn't get that fast, I'd say my max speed was about five, but if you're on a small surfboard, you're not too heavy, you might achieve 10. And lastly, it can run between 60 and 90 minutes in a normal surfing conditions. I don't know exactly what that is, I, but it sounds right to me. Lastly, I can say I used it on a sup a lot and I was getting about between 15 and 45 minutes of runtime, depending on how much boost I use in there. So that will give you an idea of what this fin's capable of. So let's take a quick look at some of the parts that come with your fin. First off, you have this guard that goes right in the back of the propeller right here. The next thing is you have this tool that is used to secure the fin to the adapters. The other cool thing about this tool is there's a magnet right in the back here. When it's placed on the fin, right on this location, you can actually turn the fin on. You can see the fin's active when it's green. You can also turn the fin off with the tool. Over here, you've got the remote to operate the fin. You can see there's a button on this side and one on this side. Let's actually turn on the fin and I'll show you how that works. Wait for the green light. Okay. So over here, that's the normal mode. And if you push over here, that's the boost mode. You're going to hear it just step up in power. Wait for it. There it is. And there should be one more step. That's full power. Now to turn it off, you just hit the button again on the remote. Now the last thing on the table here is this adapter. I think this is an FCS adapter. There's a few different styles. Again, make sure you know what kind of fin box you have on your board so you get the right adapter. So let me show you really quickly how to charge your boost fin. First, you remove the plug that's right above the propeller. Once you've got it removed, just check inside there to make sure there's no water in that receptacle. If it's all clear, 
plug in your power supply like this. It should take about two hours to charge. Now, when you're done, remove the power supply, return the plug, make sure it fits in really firmly into the socket there, and you should be good to go. So let me show you how easy it is to install your boost fin. First off, you put your adapter in your fin box. This is on a standard SUP board. You can see I had to slide it in from the front. Next thing is you take your boost fin and just put it on top like that. Then get your screws that come with your kit and install one over here and put your second screw right over here. And this is true for almost any adapter where you're gonna install it or lock the fin onto the adapter with the two screws. Tighten it down and before you go out, Make sure you wand the fin with the back of the screwdriver and that you've got a green light and you're good to go. So there's no question I had a ton of fun using this boost fin. Now, the question remains, who really is this boost fin designed for? And here's my answer. So I think if you're a really good surfer, you're not gonna find this all that helpful. You might find it fun, but you probably won't find it helpful with your surfing. Keep in mind, there is some mass to this fin and you're gonna feel it back there. Now, if you're an intermediate surfer like myself, you're gonna find this fin helps you catch more waves that you would miss before and helps you get out to the set faster. You can use that boost feature and get out there. Now, I also use it on a SUP, which I loved. I felt like I could paddle further than I normal paddle. You can still assist, so it's not like you're standing there just riding it, but you can just go along, paddle along, and go further. So I really feel this boost fin's very nice. Now, it does cost about $500 now, so you're gonna to have to do some soul searching, whether you think you wanna spend $500 on this. If you have the money, laying around, you want to do something a little different on the water, definitely something you should consider. All right, guys, that's enough messing around. There's a video right there that you're going to want to watch. It could change your life.